Hello, everybody, and welcome back to our Pokemon Sapphire walkthrough this episode 4, I don't know, 5, sorry, yeah, episode 5. Um, in the last episode, we uh, made our way to Marvel City. We took on a rival May on the way there, too. We battled some battles, got some items and stuff, and so we're just going to continue on here. Um, I think what I'm going to do first is I will, actually, no, I'm going to battle um, Watson for it because that was kind of our next point of this episode. Um, so yeah, we'll do that first right now. And yeah. Uh, let's get right into it. Let's head to the gym. Um, now the gym, but this gym puzzle in here is pretty easy. All you gotta do is battle these trainers, and there's one button you gotta step on. Um, but we're gonna battle these trainers first, of course, because we want the experience and level up and stuff. So yeah, let's go and battle this dude right here. Um, my electric soul, it'll shatter your whole dreams. Whoa, yeah. Um, and we're not gonna speed through this battle because I don't wanna waste any, um, have to die and then go and revive again. So I'm just gonna stop, like, doing speed through, um, of battles unless they're, like, really long battles. Um, so I'm gonna go for a confusion here. This should probably do a big chunk of damage. Maybe knock it out. Hopefully it will. Um, so yeah, there we go. It did. And also critical on Athena's part. So that was nice. And we're also five levels up, so it's kind of made sense if you think about it. And he's gonna send his Magnemite next. I'm gonna go to Marsh Taunt because I don't want to have to deal with the Magnemite with a uh, Psychic type. That doesn't really work that well, but yeah. Hold on. So I was gonna pop him. Maybe that was lagging my game. Okay, let's go for Mud Shot here. Um, anyways, so you know, though Watson, he's basically the Electric type, um, Gym user in the Hoenn region. Um, and also, one thing I gotta mention before the episode pretty much goes on to like a longer point is that my teeth are kind of hurting because I got my bottom brace on today, so I'll have to stop and take a drink of like cold water every once in a while um, because they'll just be painting me a little bit. So, yeah, sorry about that, but nothing I can do about it now. now. Here's a youngster dude. He's got a zigzagoon, which is completely unrelevant to electric types, but you know what? That's the game. It's being the game, so you know, whatever. Uh, let's go for confusion here. And yeah, you don't know Ziggs against a normal type. Um, nothing too advanced. I wouldn't suggest using one on your team. Like, you can use it as a good, good HM slave, but, like, not really as a part of your team. Like, Linoon is, like, not that, like, terrible, in, in, like, from my opinion, but, like, it's not really the greatest user to, like, use in battle. Maybe competitive, you can have some strategies with it and stuff, but that's pretty much it. Um, so there's two to four of the battles down, and there's one guy here, and then one more person over there. There's another one of those guitarists who totally doesn't have a Magnemite. Okay, good, he's got a Voltorb, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, well, let's knock out the confusion quickly. And we traced it soundproof, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure if uh, Ralts or Curlia has any other abilities other than Trace. I'm not sure which one, because every single time I've used him, he's always had Trace, so I'm not really sure, to be honest. Um, but you know, I like the ability trace, it's not bad having. Um, basically know what the opponent's ability is, and if you know what the abilities can do, and they're, like, um, what their special parts to it is, I'm oh, sorry, another pop-up. You know what the ability's special part is, basically you can just take that from the trace, and then you can know exactly what its, kind of, strategy is gonna use. The opponent's strategy is gonna be, it's like, kind of, kind of, it's a computer-generated opponent, but, you know, it's still. Um, so there's another, I think this guy's got three Voltorbs. Yeah, probably. So two confusions should knock this thing out, and that should be pretty much it. Um, let's go for another one. It's not going to do much damage to tackle, of course. Um, so yeah, there we go. It's down, and they go over. Actually, no, I'm going to start speed through this, whatever. This is pretty self-explanatory battle, so. There we go. So Athena's at level 24, which is kind of nice. Um, six levels from evolving to a Gardevoir, but that's going to be for a while. Um... And my next Pokemon I'm going to catch will be coming up probably this or next episode. Maybe this one depends. Um, this is a little girl here going to battle her. Um, yeah. And my teeth are hurting, which kind of sucks. So I'm going to take a drink of water quickly. And here's another battle girl, Vivian. She's probably going to meditate, of course. Yeah, no, it's kind of obvious. Go for mud shot and a tackle. And a detect! Why do you use detect so much? I hate that move so freaking... Oh, I hate that move. Alright, but anyways... So those are the battles, we can just do this, and yeah, we're going to have our preparations for this battle, and then once we're done that, we'll get started. Alright, so we're all set up for this battle, we got all our stuff ready, we attached some items to our Pokemon, so let's go check them out. So, I gave Swampert the Soft Sand, because I want to boost up its Mud Shot attack power. Um, Curlia has the experience here, because I want to balance the experience it gains. And, um, Goron, or, not Goron, sorry, uh, Kung Pao has the Quick Claw, because its speed isn't really that great compared to Watson's Pokemon, so I'm going to do that. And I forgot to heal up, of course, which is kind of my fault on my part, but we're still going to do it now, and then we'll be ready, right back to get ready to battle Watson. Alright, so now that we're done that, we can uh, go ahead and take on Watson. We got our Pokemon healed up, ready to go. Um, 
yeah, I'll just save this quick, quick. There we go. And let's go take him on. So I'm giving up my plans to cover the city I have. And so I put my time into making door traps in my gym. Oh, now what are you doing here? Well, say you want to challenge, get past my rigged doors. They're not really that rigged. It's only one switch to open them all up. Wahaha! Now that is amusing. Then I Watson, the leader of Marvel Gym, shall electrify you. Yeah, good luck with that, Watson, because you're not going to get very far. So. This is Watson, the third gym leader of the Hoenn region. He's going to lead off with this Magnemite. You know what Magnemites are all about? They're still. Uh, electric types because of Billy Magnapole, which means you can't switch out in battle, so don't try to switch or else you're wasting a turn. It does move Thunder Shock, Supersonic, Sonic Boom, and Thunder Wave. Um, I'm gonna go for Mud Shot. This is easily gonna knock it out because it's four times effective against Magnemite. And yeah, two levels ahead of it, easy knockout. First Pokemon down, no problem. So we're gonna level up there. And we're gonna learn Mud Sport, which I don't want that because that's kind of a worthless move. Um,. So he's gonna send his Voltorb back, so I'm just gonna keep in, uh, Marsh Stomp. And go for a Mud Shot. And I guess it got to attack first, so... Anyways, Voltorb's level 20, type Electric, Ability Static, which means that any physical attack that you hit with will possibly cause, um, Paralyze, Parallel Paralysis, so watch out for that. Um, so we're gonna knock it out pretty quickly. Nose moves, Roll Out, Spark, Sonic Boom, and Self Destruct. And I'll do his last Pokemon, this is Magneton, it's best, and of course, yeah, of course it's best Pokemon. Um, anyways, Magneton's level 23, ability steel and electro type, and it has the same ability as Magnemite, so it's, uh, just don't try to run from it or change out because that's not gonna work. Um, so anyways, it knows the move Shockwave, Supersonic, Sonic Boom, and Lintra Wave. So at this point of the game, Shockwave is actually quite an early, it's a really good move, to be honest. Um, it's probably the strongest electro type move you can get by the third gym. So yeah, basically after you defeat it, he will give the TM to you, which you can teach your Pokemon. So I'm going to teach that to Curlia, because that's a very good special attack that Curlia can learn, and that'll help us out when we don't have to use just Psychic types. Especially Confusion is our only current attack. So of course we want to, um, elaborate on that. I think give him a water move set. So anyways, I'm going to go for Mud Shot. This is going to do a big chunk of damage. He's going to go for the Sonic Boom, and that's only going to do much. You know, Sonic Boom only does like 20 HP damage every single time. That's kind of what it's about. And we're going to one-shot Magneton, which I kind of didn't really, I kind of guessed was going to happen because uh, it's four times effective. So, yeah, um, if you have a Marsh Stomp and it does Mud Shot, you're really not going to have any trouble with this gym. If you don't, I would suggest having, like, a Fighting type to deal with that. Um, Fighting types probably work the best if you don't have a Ground type with you. And um, the gra best Ground type you can have for this point is probably going to be Marsh Stomp because he can resist electric attacks. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, we're going to TM34 Shockwave, which is pretty easy. Um, so we're gonna teach that to Curlia right now, of course. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good special attack for this point of the game, so we'll do it right now. So we're gonna replace Growl, probably, because we're on Growl. Double Team we don't really use. But you know what, it can be useful, depends on if we want to avoid somebody, like, a really strong attack. That we can't really take, because Curly, you know, doesn't really have the greatest defenses. But anyways, there we go! We have defeated it, so then look, you're on the certified list, and you're the only one there. So it's kind of wondering why you're the only one there. But the thing is, like, how the Elite Four got there if they haven't challenged all the gyms? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Or even the champion Steven, like, why doesn't he have his name on that, uh, thing? But, you know, whatever. Let's go to the Pokemon Center and heal up. And, uh, yeah. That quickly. There we go. So then we can take the XP share off Athena and take all the items off our Pokemon. So we're gonna give them back their lucky eggs for some more training advances. So we'll just take that and give them all the lucky eggs. So, yeah. One. Give. Two. And. Three. There we go. Now, I think their Pokemon are at a pretty great level, to be honest. Um, yeah. And so from that, basically what we're going to do now is we're going to head back to sleep because there's some few things that I wanted to finish up in last episode. I don't remember what I said I was going to do, but I'll go figure that out once I get back. And so we have a bike we can get on now. There's this one trainer here I forgot to battle. But she's got a tentacle. Yeah, there we go. Let's just take it out quickly. And we one-shot it, which is pretty cool. Nice. There we go. And hurry up and level up, which is pretty cool. Um, It doesn't make a difference leveling up, but you know what? Hurry up evolved, so that's all we asked for. And yeah, so we have our bike we can get on there, and you guys make sure, like, if you don't have your bike when you go past that guy, he won't let you through, of course, because it's cycling road. Um, so anyways, we're just gonna battle the trainers here. This guy's not a trainer, but, yeah, he's gonna play about his hair and stuff. Um, here's another trainer right here. He's, most of them pretty much have, like, electric types, so magnemites and voltorbs and stuff, so really not too hard. 
Um, don't use any flung types, I'd suggest. So, yeah. I really don't think I need to do Vile Throw there, but we did it anyway, so, you know, whatever. It's the battle's already over. There we go. It's even tackled this quite a bit, and it's, like, not even effective. There we go. We knocked out. We're pretty close, to be honest. We're coming close to actually dying there. Because I, I was kind of focused. Like, I knew we, had, we were confused because of all, the, like, the extra because you could read at the bottom to know if you were fast enough to realize it. But, uh, Yeah. We're gonna put it in Curly up front because we're gonna give him some training up. Kung Pao is now our highest level Pokemon, so yeah. There's all these dudes right here. There's a few more trainers we can battle, so we go for Shockwave and see how much that does. Not that much. But whatever. And of course, we're gonna heal up Curly because we don't want to die. Yeah, full HP, there we go. Uh, there's one guy right here. I don't think he's. Yeah, you can't really battle him, but there's like another trainer down this way. Two of them. There we go, so we can battle this girl. Got a Magnemite. Oh, 25, that's pretty nice. So we can switch it to Kipper now because I want to. I'm not gonna lose Magnemites when in trouble. These things are kind of just a waste of time, but like, you know what? They're, they're free experience, so you know, why not? There we go. There's one more dude down here. There we go. It's kind of free to talk now because my teeth are just really killing me. It's like so irritating. Like, I hate braces. They're just like stupid. Um, but anyways, that's it. I was thinking there's one more. This is guy. You know he's not a trainer. Okay, so that's pretty much it for now. Here's a guy. Basically, this guy will basically like know all your stuff. It's like he's some sort of like psychic dude, but it's kind of just the game programming itself. Of course, you all know that. Um, but I think about the logic behind that. It's kind of creepy how this guy knows exactly what your record was, exactly um how many collisions you had, and exactly how many people you hit. So it's kind of weird to be honest. But, you know, whatever. Um, I gotta remember exactly... Oh, yeah, we're going for the Pokeblock case. So, before we do that, we're gonna heal up really quickly, and then we'll be right back to go and get our Pokeblock case. So, yeah. Alright, let's go get that Pokeblock case. Yeah, I know I seem all urgent and stuff to do that, but, you know, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Um, there's a Pokemon contest in here. Um, the little Pokemon contest is basically entry Pokemon. And all those things I was explaining in, like, earlier videos about, like, the scarves that raise your, like, beauty and your, um... Smart, tough, all that kind of stuff. All those, like, uh, contest stats. Yeah. Um, so first of all, I want to do it. Go talk to this little girl over here. And I'll give you the Pokeball clay. So I see what you do. Take that. You can put Pokeballs in it. What you do is you put a berry in this berry blender. And you play this game where, like, this wheel spins around. You have to click when you when it gets to your arrow. Um, it's a pretty simple game, to be honest. It's not, like, too hard. Um, so that's kind of what we're going for now. And since we have that, of course, it's kind of aiming to go and get that for the future. Because when we were going, um... Uh, what's it called? The, uh, the Safari Zone, which is up by Lily Cove City, which is, like, a lot later in the game, but you might as well get it right now. It's kind of a priority if you want to go into the Safari Zone. There's some nice items you can pick up in there, which we'll definitely need in the future, so yeah. And we need it to know with having a good news on the repel, which is kind of nice. So, since we're on that, pretty much now, we can just head up this way. I want to get something. I'm going to catch a Zigzagoon first, though, because I want an HM slave that I can teach Rock Smash to. So, yeah, we're going to do that right now, and I'll be right back to continue on to the next route. So, see you guys in a bit. Alright, so we got our Zigzagoon, and of course, we just called it Slave, because this thing's just going to be using our HMs, and we can take this item from it, which is an Orenberry. So, yeah, if you don't know, Zigzagoons have the ability called Pickups. So basically, when you're walking with it in your party, it'll pick up items, like, randomly. Um, it kind of, it's not really undetermined what you'll get. Sometimes you can get, like, really good stuff, like rare candies, or something like that. Um, you can't really get any, like, useful hold items or really. anything. It'll kind of be just, like, random assorted items that you can use for your Pokemon and stuff. So, yeah. Um. I was going to teach it Rock Smash. That's what I forgot I was going to do. There we go. I think it's got a free move slot. No, it doesn't. Okay. Let's replace. Set attack. Whatever. So, Slave is on. And, yeah. We're just going to go heal it because we took a lot of... It took about 10 Great Balls to actually catch that because we couldn't put any damage. Also, we probably would have catched it. And... Trust me, it took, like, six Pokemon to actually find that thing, like, on that road, so I'm not gonna go back and try it again, but, yeah, we're gonna heal up, and we'll be right back to continue on, guys. Alrighty, so, that was a quick cutaway, um, we're ready to go now, we got our Pokemon up front, we got Athena, sorry, we got Athena up front, which I meant to say, um, let's head up this way, because there's some more stuff we gotta do, we're done with, uh, that right over there. Actually, there's one more thing we gotta do first, so, let's head back to Verdant Turf Town, because there's one thing I forgot to show you guys that you probably gonna, you're gonna need if you wanna use this, and you're actually, no, you're gonna, you're gonna need this HM. Um, make sure you have Rock Smash in your Pokemon. Make sure you go in here. And, I'm gonna use Repel, of course. 
Actually, there's two things you can do now that you have. Th that you're on this side of the cave, there's two things you can do. Um, so pick up this item over here. I think it's like a repel or something. Oh, it's a, ma oh, it's a max either, so that's good. You can save those for Elite Four and stuff. Um, so you can break this rock. And since this guy's been waiting to get through to her, his husband for a while, once you do that, you'll be very thankful, and he will give you HMO4, which contains strength. And yes, strength is pretty useful HM. Um, you're going to need it for the future, of course, I just said that before. Um, so now Wanda is his wife and stuff, so you're on that. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, go out this way. There's a hiker duty battle over there, but we're gonna go through here first. And you see, there's this guy wandering around over here. This is an item you can pick up here, too. So go take that. That's an HP up. So, yeah, you can save those for later, too. I'm not gonna use that now. Or do you guys want to do with it? And this guy, is, he, I talked to him, he's looking for his glasses. So, take two steps away, three steps away. And just three steps away, and you can find the black glasses. So... I talked to him, and I talked to this guy. Those glasses, those are the right ones, but those are the black glasses. Um, he can't find them, and he just leaves. So yeah, I guess he just left his glasses there, so, uh... What's going on with your eyesight, bro? Can I get some new ones or something? Um, so there's another Wishmer. I've used x -Blood once. It was actually wasn't that bad at my party. It's, like, really bad until you evolve it into a, um... A loud red, and then it actually... It's pretty useful in battle. Like, Wishmers are kind of useless, to be honest. So, yeah. Um, we're just going to battle this hiker dude right here. Got some experience. And, of course, we got the pretty mainstream Geodudes. Every hiker has those. One out Naka with Confusion. And he's got... Th oh, he's going to chop, too. So, we're almost going to level up there, which is pretty close. But we're not going to yet. Uh, kind of sucks. But, anyway, so we're back in Verdant Turf. We, that's all the stuff we need to do there. So, we can head back to Mauville City and continue north to our next destination. So... Let's go. We're already 16 minutes in, so we're going to try to cut this off in about 20 minutes. So, yeah. There's one else you can battle here, which is the, um, Winstrate family. Uh, we might do that next episode because we're not, we don't have time to do that yet. Um, there's one thing I wanted to show you guys. The one Pokemon that I wanted to catch, too. Um, so there's some dudes right there. You can battle these guys. It's basically a dull battle. You can face these, uh, people throughout the game until, I think, the... Just before the 6th gym where they're cut off and you can't find them anymore. Um, this is, they have their Pokemon, the la this Wishmer and this Magnemite. Uh, every time you'll battle them, they'll get a little bit stronger, and then at one point they'll evolve, and then, yeah. Let's go learn Psychic, so I forgot about this. Um, yes, yeah, Psychic is a very good Psychic-type move. It's probably one of the best in the game, like, the most powerful. Um, so I'm gonna replace Double Team for that, because I don't need Double Team anymore. And now our Athena is pretty much dicked out. De di I, just, I just said dicked out! Oh my god, I'm so stupid. Um... And yeah, his move says pretty much decked out now. And Keeper's gonna level up too, which is pretty nice. So you get a little bit of energy if you want. You just get like any random word. I'm just gonna use evolve. Great, that sounds like. And then everything you'll everything you'll say, she'll just say like, "Ooh, that's the perfect clincher." And then it'll air on TV, and then it'll kind of sound when it comes out. So if you say something really stupid, like a Pokemon's name, even that'll make sure make her think like it's like the most amazing like interview report ever. So she's got, of course, she's got a freaking Shroomish. But anyways, we'll knock on one shot because the theme is too good. Um, yeah, let's knock on the Confusion. And yeah, there we go. So that's pretty much it for that. There's like a couple trainers up here we can battle too. Um, and of course, Slay picked up another item. What is it? The bag is full. Okay, so we got to deposit some items. So we're going to do that. And we'll be right back, guys. I time to get out of bag so we can pick up this item from Zigzagoon now. And it is a full heal. So that's pretty cool. I don't need that yet, though, because we're going to pick up some... There's something you can pick up on top of Mount Chimney, which is where we're going next, um, probably the next episode. I don't know, not the next episode, probably like the next two episodes, I'm not really sure. Um, but anyways, this guy's got a shame, so we'll take this out really quickly. There we go. Not too hard at all, you're just gonna heal, I don't wanna... Rat, take the rat, those poisonous effects, because every time you take a step, it'll deduct, I think, like, two HP points from your Pokemon if they're poisoned, so... Make sure you don't leave like that. Um, let's battle this kid right here. And knock his Pokemon out. Easy peasy. Um, and this little picnicker girl right here too. So yeah, there's two more. As you can see up there, there's probably two more hikers. You can do those too. Um, but let's little Taylor quickly knock it out. There we go, no trouble at all. And a Lombre! So, I don't really know what else to say now because I'm getting kind of like bored just battling everything. Um, we're kind of on the verge of catching the Pokemon that we want to catch next. And some of you may be surprised what I'm gonna, what which Pokemon is that it is that I'm gonna be adding to my team. Some of you may not be. 
I don't think I mentioned this before. It's not a Nummel, which is my which was my original fire type plan, and then I realized like it's part ground type, and I already have a ground type on my team, so it's probably not going to need much of a use for it. Um, but yeah. There you go. And there's one more climber up here, so I'll put in a theme in first because he needs some training too. Um, that's good. And you can see those two aqua guards up there, and this is your next kind of interfere with them. You know that that's not yet though, you'll be in the next episode pretty much. Um, you'll see what it is. I'm not gonna explain it to you yet because it's not really mandatory. And of course we got a burn, and I don't know why that happened because we don't have any burn heals, but I guess we can use a full heal because yeah. That's pretty nice, so you'll have that now. Um, since we're done that, then we head into the, um, Fairy Pass. Fairy Path, whatever it's called. And we're gonna look for our next Pokemon. So once we find it, we'll unpause and we'll be catch it, catching it. So yeah. And first try, I get we get it. So this is it. It's gonna be a Torkoal. And I've been wanting to add this for my team for a while. Um, it's a pretty good fire type overall. It's got really bad speed and stuff, but its defense and attack are, like, really pretty good. Um, so I'm just gonna hit the confusion and hopefully it won't knock it out. Please don't knock it out. Please don't knock it out. Okay, good, yeah. It's defense is kept in, even though it's like 11 levels lower than us, but we're gonna go for a Great Ball now. Hopefully this catches it. I don't wanna waste all my time doing this because we're already 21 minutes in. Um, you know what I noticed about the Sapphire recordings compared to other recordings? Is that, um, oh, first try, nice. Is that they take up more space on my computer than the other ones did. It's kind of weird, but like, you know what? It's fine. Um, so, I haven't really been thinking of a nickname recently. Um, actually, I'm going to do it right here. If you watch the movie called Popstar, you'll know what I'm talking about. Like, Maximus, Maximus, Maximus. Um, it was the guy, the main guy that's so, um, Connor for real, basically. He's turtles named Maximus, so I kind of think of that because it's kind of like one of those, like, random ideas that I got. Um, so don't judge me if it's kind of a stupid name. Like, I can always change it if I don't like it, but, you know, it's fine for now. Um, so yeah, I think that's gonna be pretty much it for this episode, because we don't have much else to do right now. But we'll be heading to the next town in the next episode for the next part we gotta do. So yeah. Um. I'm gonna numel. Numel. Crap, I'm gonna chop. I also catch my chops, numbles, and torkoals in this thing. So yeah, there we go. Um, so thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Um, and make sure you stay tuned for part 6, which is going to be uploading probably about tomorrow or something like that. So yeah, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, we'll see you in the next episode. So yeah, peace out guys.